Today I will be reading a speech by Greta Thunberg because I think it is important to share the words and message of the girl who inspired many of us to get up and be here. But first, I would like to share with you a quote from one of my favorite books, This Changes Everything, by Naomi Klein. A great many of us engage in this kind of climate change denial. We look for a split second, and then we look away. All of you here today, I encourage you to continue to look. I ask that you do not arrive at this rally and then move on. Allow this to be more than a split second for you. Continue to strike with us this week. And beyond that, continue to fight in any way you can against the horrifying injustice of this crisis. This is an, an excerpt from a speech that Greta read to a bunch of celebrities at the Golden Camera Film and TV Awards in Berlin this March. We live in a strange world where all the United Science tells us that we are about 11 years away from setting off an irreversible chain reaction, way beyond human control, that will probably be the end of our civilization as we know it. We live in a strange world where children must sacrifice their own education in order to protest against the destruction of their future. Where people who have contributed the least to this crisis are the ones who are going to be affected the most. Where politicians say it's too expensive to save the world while spending trillions of dollars subsidizing fossil fuels. We live in a strange world where no one dares to look beyond our current political systems, even though it is clear that the answers we seek will not be found within the politics of today. Where some people seem to be more concerned about the presence in school of some children than the future of humankind. Where everyone can choose their own reality and buy their own truth. Where our survival is depending on a small, rapidly di disappearing carbon budget and hardly anyone even knows it exists. We live in a strange world where we think we can buy or build our way out of a crisis that has been created by buying and building things. Where a football game or a film gala gets more media attention than the biggest crisis humanity has ever faced. where celebrities, film, and pop stars who have stood up against all injustices will not stand up for our environment and for climate justice because that would inflict on their right to fly around the world visiting their favorite restaurants, beaches, and yoga retreats. <laughs> Avoiding catastrophic climate breakdown is to do the seemingly impossible, and that is what we have to do. We live in a strange world, but it's the world that my generation has been handed. It's the only world we've got. We are now standing at a crossroads in history. We are failing, but we have not yet failed. We can still fix this. It's up to us. Thank you.